Okay, hi everybody, it's Bonkai 922. This is going to be my um, first impressions of True Detective Season 2. I'm looking at you, Brez Boy, and Dongu! Um, I had watched Season 1, and I'm noticing from this Season 2, it has nothing to do with Season 1. Uh, that's a separate case, pretty much, and this is something else. Overall, my thoughts on this is gonna be like first impressions. I'm probably not gonna do episode by episode reviews. I'm just gonna wait until it's completely finished, then I'll do like a overall thoughts. Overall thoughts on you know, the season two. Now, now basically, it's a little freezing over there. Basically. From my point of view, okay, Colin Farrell was amazing. He's like, he's be definitely, definitely, um, of, of the people they have. You got Colin Farrell, you got Rachel McAdams, Vince Vaughn, and this other actor who I, his name, I'm not really sure his name, but from, from, the, from the four of them, I would say Colin Farrell's definitely the best. One of the best. And comparing this to season one, I will say this. This took a little while. Like, you couldn't get right into episode one. Uh, episode one was slow. Episode two, um, you know, it was at the end of episode two, it was insane. I was like, no! Because they have the scene with Colin Farrell. He goes and investigates this guy's house. Because they're basically investigating about this murder, about this guy. Um, who got killed, who was basically someone who had Vince Vaughn's money. Yeah, it was some deep ass shit. He had lost his, he lost pretty much his investment. Vince Vaughn, his character. And, Conferno gets shot by this guy with a, a crow mask? That was a crow or a mask. And, at that point, I thought he was dead. I was like, holy shit, how the fuck do you even continue the show? And then, we found out in episode 3, that he wasn't dead. They were revolts. But, overall from the show, from season 2, especially with this last episode, episode 4, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It, it's not as intense as season 1 so far. The season one was different. Season one was you had different elements in it than you have in this one. First of all, in season one, there were only two detectives. Just two. Matthew McConaughey and Um Woody Harrelson. That was it. Here you've got you got okay, you got you got Rachel McAdams is the detective, you got Con Farrell. You got that other guy, and then you got Vince Vaughn in the mix as well. And there's all these different plot lines between the characters, like Colin Farrell's life is a pee, he, it's shit, his wife, and then and, and trying to, with his kid and everything, his wife basically divorced him. It, it is pretty crazy. Then you have Rachel McAdams, she, she's a gambler. <laughs> like, she just got boned in this episode by her superior officers, superior, as her, basically um, telling her, him, him telling her that she's on leave now, she's suspended. She, we're still working on the case, but she's suspended. And then, you know, they're all, you have all these, and then you got Vince Vaughn, he's pretty fucked, because he can't take it and get in money. All his, all his projects for his job, what he does, have been deflated. So, a lot of interesting things going on in True Detective. Overall, it doesn't live up, I'll say this, it doesn't live up at the moment, season one. But, but, it seems to have gained some momentum. Momentum. Like, I would say from the ending of episode two till now is where it's, it's starting to pick up. It's really starting to pick up here. So, but rating-wise, I would probably say a 
at this point, possibly an eight out of ten. Possibly. But if I were to be sure of myself, I would say seven and a half out of ten. But we gotta wait and see because as of right now it's only four episodes. And most series on HBO, on Cinemax, on Showtime, they are like ten episodes or so. So we'll see. So far from what I'm seeing, it's a pretty damn good show. But um, I wonder if it can it can it can like hold up or even be better than season one. Right now it's definitely not better than season one. But five, six episodes down the road, it might be. It might be. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys for that. It's a short review because uh, I just want to give you my my first thoughts on the first four episodes of, of True Detective season two, and then you know so and so forth. Uh, I did a afterthoughts on the Batman vs Superman comic book Comic Con uh, trailer. I will have that uploaded uh, later today, along with this, I guess. Um, really nothing else going on. You know, I did a library. I did a, a boxing. Might upload later in the week. So, you guys look forward to that. Until then, I'm Bonkai922. See you guys later. Um, yeah. Also, I took a look at, uh, Guy. It's, it's good. You can look forward to the video review on that as well. I'll see you guys later.